Today I'll be teaching one of my favorite tosses. It's basically a one-handed 45. And if you don't know how to do a 45 with two hands, I would suggest learning that before you try this toss. Um, so yeah, it's basically a one-handed 45 with a really pretty wind-up to it. It's all over my Instagram, and I've had a lot of people comment on how much they liked it or how much they wanted to learn it, so I thought I'd make a video about it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. I'll teach it. Our silk's going to start on our left, and we're going to have both of our hands grabbing downward, one up the silk, one up the lower tab. And we're going, what's going to happen first is we're going to let go of this right hand, and it's going to rotate up. At this point, I'm just holding the pole with my pointer finger and my thumb finger, so it can rotate easily. So yeah, I'm going to start here, let go, roll up, bring it down. I usually try to bring it as uh, close to me as possible so that we can show all of the silk. That's just how I prefer to do it. There's no wrong way. Next, it's going to draw a circle out to here, to this side, and then it's going to pull up to this top corner. It should be pointing to the top corner of your screen now. So yeah, right here, up, across, pull up. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is when you are pulling this flag up to that corner, you're going to add a really pretty dancy hand with it. It just adds a little bit more flair to it and it makes it prettier. So, here's how it looks with the hand. Across, up. Notice how those were done at the exact same time. Now, once you have that down, you're going to turn to the corner at the same time that you're pulling this up and doing the dancing hand. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like and maybe that'll make more sense to you. So, up, down, across, hand turn. Now I'm facing this corner and the reason why we did this hand was so that it will land wherever you're ready to grab at to throw for your toss. I usually like to grab Here's the top, um, the bottom tab. I usually like to grab right here. There's like another hand space right here. So I like to grab right there. It's whatever you want to do. However your toss will come out. You can grab wherever you like. But that's the reason why we do the hand. So I just pulled it up, did the hand and turn. And then from here, I'm ready to do my toss. You'll release right there. See how it's at that 45 degree angle. I usually keep my hand right here until I need it. It'll be, uh, it's a lot more prettier, but, um, yeah, just keep your hand behind your back as you throw until you're ready to use it to catch. And the reason why we turn to the corner is because when you're tossing 45s, you tend to catch at a different angle than when you released. So by turning here and then releasing, I catch to this front corner so that it's a lot more, um, it's prettier for whenever you're going to catch strong and if you were to put it in a show. You could see your face and all that. So that's why we turn. Um, so yeah, I will do some counts with it if you, in case you're a counts person like me and you want to know what the counts are on. So here we go. One down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah. Um, like any toss, it's going to take practice and um, frustration. So just keep practicing and make sure that this wind up stays fluid and fast because that's really going to help you get your toss up in the air. You can toss um, 145, maybe a double 45 if you have that power in you. Uh, there's really no limits to what this toss can do, so good luck.